we've sort of fresh faced data scientists here and sort of business CEOs, like rather than you worrying that, you know, the ethical representation of your data set is the be all and end all, it's actually more like a single ethical point of failure on a chain of many ethical single points of failure. So don't believe me, let's just go through the track record, right? I mean, I'm not picking out any one individual company here or any one individual uh, like person other than the past two that I just pointed at. What I'm going to do is we're just going to go through the track record. So, because there's an endemic problem to ML and, the, and we have to sort them in, in chunks. And so the first one is like, if we look at like COVID started and just prior the headcount was looking kind of okay. And then we had the first downturn and they started to kind of do like a, like a, a hiring freeze, right? So we're, we're going to do hiring freeze, but we'll, we'll keep those projects ticking in, right? And then what happened was the sort of next downturn and FinTech, they, they, they were like, okay, we're going to need to get rid of say five people and we'll put all of that work and resources on the shoulders of one rock star because um, that'll definitely work. And then the uh, enterprises were a little bit more sophisticated, right? So they uh, slashed headcount, but they were like, okay, we'll just maintain these um, toxic service contracts that we've got and we'll fill, we'll backfill the space with tooling, right? Because then, you know, and we'll maybe pocket a 10% on the, the, the headcount that we saved. But surprise, surprise, what happened was, and this is like a global thing, so this has like happened everywhere. Um, when uh, there was like the up tip uptick in the economy again, like they were like phoning up, like they were scampering to, to, to the recruitment, to HR, to call up people they just fired 12 months ago or, or 16 months ago and like, hey, how's it going? Are you looking for a job? And so obviously all they really did was just create an already disloyal uh, employee base, even more disloyal and disgruntled. Um, for those in America and the UK, in the past year alone, 40% of all IT staff changed their job. I think it was similar in finance as well. So this is kind of like, I'm kind of like trying to build a picture up here of like, before I offer solutions. So what we've got is we've clearly got these bad practices from 40 years ago, right? And so the solution clearly is to be thinking more long term. So for, and I'm not just going to hit on enterprises, by the way, I'm also going to like um, hit on like just uh, employees. So like, as an employee, as a fresh-faced data scientist, you shouldn't just be going for what the highest salary is. Because, and if you do, that's fine. But then don't blame us when you've been doing two years in Java trying to solve uh, production issues. And then you get, you know, you, you move on to your next role and you find out like, oh, I've not done anything of ML. There's a bit of principle-driven uh, decision in that needs to be taken on both sides, right? So it's not just, you know, point the finger at, you know, it's easy to sort of break the sort of um, enterprise, but it, it works both ways. And so if we want to fix this, we kind of need to first acknowledge that there's a problem. But then people say, oh, the FinTech industry is amazing. It's absolutely dominating in London. You know, we've got so much turnover of new companies. But yeah, but the graveyards are just as big, right? So I've met a lot of CTOs and CEOs who went down with the ship precisely because of those bad practices. Um, the one thing in the, they, that they all have in common is they never blame it on leadership. They always blame it on something. It wasn't our fault. You know, it was market conditions or something like that, right? 